Hello, I'm Rachel Jones for the Finance News Network. Joining me today from Aventus Medical is founder, MD and CEO, Dr. Chris Hart. Chris, welcome back to FNN. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks for having me. Now, first up, could you start by telling us how Aventus Medical is progressing? Oh, look, I think we've made incredible progress since we spoke last. Uh, you know, we've gone from being what was essentially a mouth guard company, and now I think we're really an airway management company. So we've evolved from one product to a platform of technology um, that really is extending the effectiveness of oral appliances and also making CPAP more tolerable. And now before we talk about your product, can you tell us about the instance and health effects of chronic snoring? Look, chronic snoring uh, is a sign of a very uh, a more sinister underlying disease, but chronic snoring, probably 50% of adults um, would suffer from chronic snoring. It's a sign of obstructive sleep apnea, and in terms of obstructive sleep apnea, around about 34% of adult males and 17% of adult females would suffer from OSA. And um, it's a very serious disease with some very serious long-term health effects. In the short term, it can cause increased risk of accident, workplace health and safety, and loss of productivity. In the long term, hypertension, diabetes, uh, cardiovascular risk, uh, and depression. So. You know, the, the economic costs and the health economic costs are in the multi-billion dollars just in Australia alone. It's a massive problem. And now let's talk about the O2 vent. Can you bring us up to date on sales? Where formerly we were a mouth guard company selling to dentists, I think we really are making a transition now um, to being an airway management company engaging in the sleep channel. And that's reflected by the fact that um, we're also moving from an R&D based company to a go to market and a sales oriented company. We had some, we've been selling in Australia for the last two years and we've, we've sold a number of devices, two to three thousand devices in Australia. We piloted in the US last year, we signed a global distributor in Modern Dental for the dental channel. Uh, and in, with this particular treatment, the dentist is where the device is delivered but the gatekeepers um, of the technology are actually the sleep physicians. So now we're starting to work with sleep physicians to write the prescriptions and refer the patients to the dentist to pick up the device. So uh, we would expect to see increasing sales and revenue uh, in the last quarter of this calendar year, but more, more likely significant growth through calendar year 2019, and I think we're still aiming to reach cash flow positive at the back end of next calendar year. And what can you tell me about product development? We started, as I said earlier, as a mouth guard company two years ago. Um, we had a mouth guard with a 3D printed airway in it or a second nose, and we showed in our clinical studies that that was increasing the effectiveness of mouth guards. We then started to look at, well, how can we apply this as a CPAP interface? And we also showed recently that we can eliminate the need for full face masks and reduce the pressure requirements when we use our O2 vent as a CPAP interface or as an adjunct to CPAP. In developing that, we needed to develop a way to control airflow, not just um, as it goes in at very low resistance to reduce collapsibility, but also to control the bleed. When we did that, we developed a valve that lives within that 3D printed airway, and it's called a positive end expiratory pressure valve which is a big name, but the PEEP valve means that when patients now breathe out, uh, it's actually working as a micro CPAP within the duct bill, so it's inflating and stabilising the airway as the patient breathes. So our first objective was to make oral appliances more effective, and we've done that. We then wanted to eliminate the need for full face masks, which we've also achieved, although we haven't launched that product yet. And now it turns out for the vast majority of patients, over three quarters of patients, we may not need CPAP anymore. And in fact, we've almost doubled the success rate of oral appliance therapy by incorporating this airway and now these valves within our O2 vent devices. So it really has been a remarkable uh, evolution and some would say revolution in terms of the technology. Excellent. Now let's take a look at your finances and the share price. What is your current cash flow position and how far can this take you? Well, at the moment we had uh, we had just under $10 million in the bank at June 30. Um, our cash burn historically has been around $2 million a quarter and, and it is at the moment as well. Having said that, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we're moving from being an R&D focused company into a go-to-market company and our addressing the US market in particular, we're hoping to grow revenues uh, over the other side of the Pacific. As we do that, we're going to wind down our R&D costs, which will bring down our fixed costs, uh, and we're becoming more scalable as well. So we would expect that uh, with growing revenues next year and rationalising our cost base in the first quarter of next year, um, we should see ourselves start to generate a stronger balance sheet uh, through the back end of next year. And as we've said before, we still aim to be cash positive towards the back end of the calendar 2019, and that's off the back of controlling costs and growing sales. At the moment we have a very strong balance sheet, we've got great investor support and we're very comfortable uh, with where we're at as a company and where we're going. And can you provide a comment on the share price? At the moment I think uh, we're significantly undervalued. Um, I think if you look at where we are now compared to where we were two years ago, um, we've created a phenomenal amount of value in our technology and our IP 
and our clinical evidence. And now also we have a great go-to-market strategy and team in the US. We really are poised for significant revenue growth uh, over the next 12 to 18 months. And so I would say that we're a great buying opportunity at our current share price. And to the last question now, Chris, is there anything that you'd like to mention that we haven't covered? I think there's been a long time uh, since there's been a very uh, innovative approach to the management of this very serious disease. And I think this is a great innovation that has the potential to help tens of millions of patients. I was one of those patients and I've certainly helped thousands of them myself. And we're very excited to be able to bring a lot of those patients back into care. Dr. Chris Hart, thanks for the update. Thank you.